had that dream again. The one where I cut you open and eat you. In today's news, a man is eaten alive. <laughs> stop, stop. What time did you tell your sister to come tonight? About seven or so. Okay. I'll pick up some champagne on the way home. You don't have to do that. Just once every 30 years. Thank you for holding. This is Megan, and I will be helping you today. How? Okay, first, can I get your claim number in order? Okay. Okay, sir, I'd like to help you, but I need to get your number first. And... Okay, I'm listening. Thank you, let me forward you to a shift manager. So what'd you say? I forwarded them to a manager because they don't want to choose to get the pancreas. Well, if it was up to you, honey, everybody would get a pancreas. Pancreas is all around. Give me one. Mas? Mas? That's good. That's good. Mas? That's good. That's <laughs> He's old. Mas? You do understand that, right? There's a 30 on that cake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ay, no, no, no. Thank you. Como que no? No. Yes. Mamacita. Yes. <laughs> wow. Hey. hey, what's going on? I'm gonna have a baby. <laughs> Thank you. I was gonna wait a little while before I told anyone this time. How far along are you? Almost three months. Well, how do you say auntie in Spanish? Tia. <laughs> Tia. <laughs> okay, you guys drink. <laughs> bueno. <clears throat> Salud. Do you need names? Eduardo? Yeah. I need you to come here. Can we keep him? We're babies. Babies can't have babies. We'd like to differ. We can't afford it. We were gonna go to Europe. We still can. I mean, right? I understand you're upset, ma'am. I need your account number in order. Okay, thank you. And can you confirm your first and last? Oh my God, Beth Silverman, Mega Beth. From Eagle Rock? It, it's, it's me, Megan. Iron Megan? Oh my god, Chase McLean is your emergency contact? Are you, are you guys in Denver now? Yeah, we should. Um, I actually have a lunch break in about two hours. Yeah? Okay, I'll, I'll see you then. Bye. How old is she? Nine. I can't believe how grown up you look. Ellie? <laughs> like, well, I, I can't believe how good she is. Eh, I pump her full of Benadryl before we leave the house. She never embarrasses me. Oh my god. <laughs> you think I'm serious? No. She's just a really sweet kid. I don't know how it happened. I got pregnant. Really? I, I mean, I am. Nice, you're first, yeah? Yeah. Well, we aren't sure what we're gonna do. Oh, come on. We're almost 30. 
just pop one out, get it over with. I just feel like I haven't done all the things I wanted to do. You're not dying. You're reproducing. What do you want to do? Do meth. <laughs> do you still do pottery? Yeah, whenever I have time. I remember, you were so good. Hey, do you ever do commission work? I have a bunch of plates I want to get rid of. I want to do custom dinnerware. Yeah, I could totally do that. Really? It wouldn't be weird me hiring you? No, no, it'd be awesome. Yay, okay. Do some sketches, come by my house, and I don't want a front chip discount. Deal. Well, how about you? What have you been doing? You're looking at it. That's it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you look, you look really great. No, thanks. Yeah. Can't sleep. <laughs> Why? Do you really want to have this baby? Do you? What if it rejects me? What if it grows up to be a psychopath? Oh, it's not gonna happen. What if it ruins our relationship? We could start seeing each other as parenting partners or adversaries instead of best friends and lovers. <laughs> It's not going to happen to us. We just have to remind ourselves to be lovers. And I want us to be a family. We are. There's too much love between the two of us. Just get up before you get me more pregnant. <laughs> Can we tell my sister? Bueno. Sí, soy Eduardo. How is she? My sister. I'm on my way. Hey. I'm gonna go see her. Do you wanna come? sees our kid walk, she'll know her kid will be walking too. And when her kid goes to kindergarten and rides a bike, a part of me just wishes I could give her arms. Doesn't work like that. Being pregnant really sucks. There's nothing magical about it. Well, it's not pretty. The worst part is that I feel like I'm throwing my life away. I'll be nothing but a mom the rest of my days. Is that what you think of me? No. No, seriously. You think I just threw my life away, I became a mom, and now I'm nothing? No. But, I mean, you used to want to be an entomologist and be in a metal band, and now you're not. Why don't you take a good, long look at our lives and tell me? Who do you think looks happier? Um, I don't think I have time to bother you. I should have been so How do you spell happy? H-A-P-P-Y. You said P-P. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Let's 
It's like she doesn't even see the irony of the situation. She gave up on all of her dreams so she could give her kids a life where all their dreams come true. She's right. I don't want to be like her. Maybe she doesn't want to be like you. Excuse me? You just walked away from the two sources of income that you had. Now I have to pick up the slack. You married a man who can't support you. You have no idea what I'm going no, through. No, you have no idea what I'm going through. You are not in this alone. Has it occurred to you once to ask me how I'm doing? How are you doing? Not well, Megan. I'm going to have a baby. Me too. I'm scared. I'm scared because I already love this baby so much. I don't know how we're gonna take care of her. We have created life. We're gonna have to watch her fall and skin her knees. In the best case scenario, we live a long and fruitful life. And she's gonna have to watch her parents grow old and weak and senile. She? to be mine. It's too small. Thank you. 